Hey everybody, Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper, and today I'm going to be doing a flip through first impressions of the Moxie Life Goal Setting Companion Notebooks. These are new with the launch this year, and I am so excited to dig in. I got the Moxie Life Planner last year, and I really loved the way that Sierra approaches goal setting. It was really intentional. It helped me clarify some things, but I already had a planner system that I liked. I liked their planner. The setup is really great, but it's just that first column, y'all. Like in the passion planner, the first column is that this week or for the upcoming week. And in the moxie life, that column is in the last part of the planner. And I just can't get over that for some reason. Like I really need that to be in the front end. So I got these notebooks instead, and I'm going to be doing a flip through. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing on top is an instruction manual. And inside, they've got the front part of the planner inside. So it talks about what goals are and the steps that Sierra wants you to walk through and how exactly these will help you reach your goals through weekly notes, tips, gratitude, and habit tracking. This is the life compass, which I love. You can see in my last video how I filled this out and what I liked about it. But essentially, it's because she, you know, breaks this down, but she has this assessment inside. And I love the way that she broke these down because it really clarified for me some of the areas that I want to focus on, particularly in financial. The piece that stuck out to me the most was... Um, I believe in my ability to acquire wealth. I never really thought about that until I saw it spelled out in this assessment. The only thing that I personally feel like is missing, and this is just for me, is I really want to work on like my anti-racism in my daily life. And so I think I'm going to incorporate that into either personal learning or spiritual personal growth. So I'll figure that out in a second. <laughs> in a second. All of 2021. This is, I think, Sierra's favorite page, which is Intentions. I'm going to be filling this out for figuring out my word of the year. This current year, 2020, it was trust, which is trust in myself, trust in my timing, and I'm excited to see what my word for 2021 will be. Uh, I, I love the language that she uses in here because it's really, really forgiving and compassionate. These pages are perforated so that you can take them out if you need to. So she walks you through, if you already had, oh God, I love this page, helps you break this down so that you can come up with your weekly goals each week. And the annual, I love how this is broken down. The vision board I might just keep from my last Moxie Life because I really liked what I did there. So the companion notebooks are A5 size and in comparison to the Moxie Life Planner itself, it's about this big. And of course, I, I try to do the disc thing with it, so ignore that. But the front pages of this goal setting section are what's in that first notebook. Yeah. For a size comparison with the A5 size, this is my bullet journal. And it sits pretty snugly to that size. So that works out pretty great. I can probably tuck this inside here if I wanted to and have it kind of as a companion as it is meant to be. I also got the stickers that come along with it. I love the coordinated color scheme here, but date dots and little flags. So each one I think has a different phrase on it. This one says, just begin. And here's where you would date all of these things. And again, with the perforated pages, so you can take these out and maybe tape them in your planner or whatever you need to make sure they're visible. The one downside that Sierra was saying was that she really likes that the goal setting and the planner were in the same system so that it would all kind of flow into being able to help you reach your goals. So I'm taking a risk apparently by having it separate. But here you are, you, uh, you look at your annual goals, Put it in to monthly goals, break them down, and then you'll have this for the weekly actions. This is meant for you to 
kind of reflect on what the last week was like, your wins, your losses, whatever you feel like you need to reflect on here. This used to have more pointed questions, which I think are still available in the Facebook group, but now it's blank for you to do whatever you need to. And then the weekly actions are what is most important that you do, that you break things down and understand what it is that you're going to do to move your goals forward. And that's just how the book is laid out then. You just have enough weekly actions for all of the quarter. And then every couple weeks, there is a monthly reflection so that you can jot down your biggest wins and reflect for the next month. And then this, obviously you can use however you want, whether it's actual like tactical things like projects or if you want to journal more about how you felt in doing these goals or not. Maybe what is getting in the way. So anyway, there's three months of these. And the, the whole key to doing this is that every month or every week you have time set aside so that you can go back, check the previous week's weekly actions and assess like how well did you uh, make progress on these, check the ones that you made progress on, and then reevaluate and pivot for the next week. And the same thing for each month. You go back to your monthly and see what you've made progress on. Okay, so presumably that's what all of these are going to be like. So the first one is Just Begin, Dare to Dream, Good Things Are Coming, and lastly, Hold On to Your Vision. I feel like I would use this in like the hard part of the year, like in the middle, like remember why you started kind of a thing. And then this one is like a reminder that maybe good things are coming in the next year. So there's no order to how you're supposed to use these but obviously Just Begin is a great first one. So that is the first. I'm going to set this up and then we'll see how it goes for quarter one. But first, let's just set this up. So now I've got my monthly set up and the two main dates that I'm worried about is when I'm going to launch my Canvas sites for instructors that I work with, including the curriculum, and then the first day of school. I'm sure there are other things that will pop up, but those are the two major things that I'm concerned about. I'm going to be doing a workflow plan for winter break in another video, so keep an eye out for that. But in order to kind of add this to... My goals, I'm going to take some time, maybe burn a candle, and start to whittle down on maybe what my word of the year is going to be, and then visiting what my annual goals are going to be. I feel like next year is going to be one with big decisions for me, and having to sit down and get some clarity on those things is going to be really important. So... I will do the annual goals and then I will go in and make sure that the, I have room for them in my time and that I have adequately identified what will make this month a meaningful one in stepping toward those goals. I'll touch base again in a couple months to see how this is going for me. I hope that I can keep kind of going back and forth and having that routine of reflecting back on those goals and then setting new ones for the upcoming week. Uh, if you liked this, let me know down below. Ask your questions about this. Did you order one of these? Are you in the planner? What questions do you have? Let me know. Um, if you like this, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. If you like more of this, I have other reviews on my channel. But otherwise, I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.